called him Baba Yaga. The boogeyman? Well, John wasn't exactly the boogeyman. He was the one you sent to kill the f boogeyman. He's John Wick. In a world where there are more hired guns and contract killers than there are civilians, John Wick stands out as a myth, a legend that the bad guys can tell each other at night to give themselves the heebie-jeebies. Can't believe they used the word heebie-jeebies, but we're gonna continue. But the legend of John Wick does not precede him. John is incredibly skilled at combat. May that be with his hands, guns, knives, and even nunchucks. Whenever John puts his mind to something, it gets done. More often than not, it gets killed. And throughout all four movies, that is very clear that he means business. So what would it really take to be a real life Baba Yaga? Well, don't even sweat it. Not only will I tell you, but I'll also teach you a move that you can train right now in your backyard because this is the Fight Like a Superhero series. You uh, working again? No, I'm just sorting some stuff out. I'll leave you be then. What's up guys, it's the old Ninja Warring Aviators and Super Hat, and welcome to the Modern Ninja Channel. And this is yet another episode of the Fight Like a Superhero series where I take characters from movies, TVs, video games, anime, and anything else and teach you how to train like them in real life. Honestly, John Wick is one of my favorite movies and I finished all four and love all four. And honestly, this should have come out a while ago, but we're here now. Unlike many of the characters in the series, John Wick is more or less just a regular human, no special powers or abilities. There's no super serum or uh, flight or alien heritage or anything like that which means we don't have to worry about some insane strength training regimen or trying to mimic spider sense or something like that which means we just get to be people but you better not be missing that cardio john wick can fight wave after wave after wave of enemies without seemingly getting tired going up 222 steps of stairs all while fighting twice and fighting through half the city of paris in the last movie like he does not get tired so we definitely have to be constantly working our stamina good ways to do this is to get to track and field and run marathons and miles that just increases your stamina teaches you how to breathe while you're moving and uh, it's overall healthy for you anyway, so jump to it. Now that we have the stamina to last the night, how are we gonna actually put the bad guys down? Now this first one is going to be a little bit obvious. You're gonna need some extensive firearm training, like I'm talking the works. Over all four movies, John uses 10 different types of handguns, three types of machine guns, two types of shotguns and five different types of rifles. He uses like 20 different types of unique firearms and he's an expert at all of them. So you better get some training. Don could even pick up someone else's gun and use it like he's had it for years. Pulling off more headshots than Shroud with a gun he's had for only like two seconds. Boom headshot, boom headshot, boom headshot. Now that may be unnecessary in today's world. Well, I mean, depending on where you live. But I would say you're gonna have to take some extra time to master at least one of every type of firearm, as in handgun, shotgun, rifle, and so on. You're even gonna have to learn how to use a musket, and I don't even know if you could buy a musket. I'm sure someone will tell me in the comments. But now we're gonna go on to hand-to-hand, -hand because sometimes there are just more people than bullets, and John Wick loves to keep shot count. It's one of the things I love about that movie, so, he has to learn how to throw hands, and our base is absolutely going to be Krav Maga without a doubt. For those that don't know, Krav is an Israeli martial art developed for the Israeli Defense Force. Israel is literally surrounded by enemies, so any martial art that works for them must really work, like they can't be messing around. Which is why Krav is famous for its focus on real world problems and extreme efficiency and why it's often considered to be the best martial art out there for anyone wanting to learn self-defense. And it's not just me saying that. Nearly every significant military on Earth has incorporated Krav in their training in some way or another. And when you look at how John fights, it's easy to see the Krav through his simple yet effective movements and techniques. Next, we're gonna learn some Judo. John absolutely loves his throws, sometimes throwing the same person back to back, like one after another after another, only to then finish them with the gun he takes takes off of them. Oh my gosh, I love this movie. And considering that judo is so good at throwing people that it's been an Olympic sport for almost 60 years, you can bet that that will give us all the criteria, all the techniques that we need to know. It's also the most prominent form of jacket wrestling in the world. 
And why is that important? Because so many of John's enemies are wearing suits of some kind, which just makes it that much more perfect. I mean, it's literally begging to fight people who are well-dressed. So now we've covered guns and we've covered hand-to-hand. -hand. We're only missing two things, but first, be sure to subscribe because if you made it this far, you at least have to think the video is kind of cool and I'm at least not super cringy. So drop subscribe and hit the like button if you like. But next we're gonna need to hone our skills with weapons, most commonly knives, but really any weapons of opportunity. This means anything like pencils, books, cards, and anything else John just might pass by. <laughs> And one of the best martial arts for both of these things is Arnis or Kali. They're different names for the same thing. It is the national martial art of the Philippines and it emphasizes weapon-based fighting over pretty much everything else. It has such an emphasis on this that many schools will actually teach you how to use and fight with a stick or a knife before they even teach you how to throw a correct punch. Which honestly, from someone coming from a more Korean base, it's absolutely wild to me. But this art can be traced back for actual centuries, so they must be doing something right. I once saw him kill three men in a bar with a bouncer. Lastly, we're going to need to be smart. John doesn't just jump into a combat situation without first thinking about it, finding out the best way to pick off his enemies one at a time, planning his exit strategy, or picking the right tool for the right job. We are gonna have to learn how to fight with our brain just as much as we learn how to fight with our hands and other skills. So do your research. You're gonna wanna know your enemy inside and out before even considering taking them on. And just to put this out there, not that your dog's ever gonna get killed by the mafia, but just in case, for legal reasons, this is satire. You can use it to train and for, to get yourself better, but only use these skills to kill people in the apocalypse. Zombies are always fair game. But with all of these skills together, we are gonna be kicking butt and taking names just like Bob Yaga himself. But I wanna go even further and teach you how to start your crop training right now with something you can practice in your backyard. So let's go outside. Hey, I just figured I'd let you guys know that there's new merch in the store. Like if you didn't even know I had a store, I have a merch store and there's new merch in it. So definitely go check it out. There might be something you like, there might not be, but you know, you never know until you know. So go check it out, links down in the description. So in this episode of Find Like John Wick, we're going to be doing something different, not just a random kick or move. I'm actually gonna be teaching you a self-defense technique that you can use when someone punches you. So here we go. So I have Elise. Hi! Ankle quick! Anyway, uh, Elise is gonna be throwing a right hook at my head. Yeah, my just right. for, for, you know, just for playful. It could be really any punch. When the right hand comes in, hands gonna be in tight, keeping your head safe because getting rocked is not how you win fights, it's how you die. So, keeping that hand, those hands up, keep it in tight. Once you're here, the hand that's closest to them for, for this instance, it's gonna be your right hand. You're going to reach under, rotate, under the armpit and behind the hip. As you do that, you're gonna take your right hand, your right leg, and step past. So again, you're here, right hand, behind the hip, right leg, step past. Hip, knees, rotate with your feet. Very good job, good job, you can rotate. Hip needs to be as close as possible. If there's space, you're gonna end up not being able to lift them very easily, even if you're stronger than them. Being close allows it to not be a muscle throw and instead just rocking your hips into them, throwing them, and finishing them just like John Wick. You can finish with a punch or you can take the elbow, fire your knee into it, and break just like that. Collateral damage. Let's do it one more time. Boy! Why did that was delayed? <laughs> That was so dumb. <laughs> anyway, the punch is gonna come in, blocking, keeping your head safe, reaching around, stepping through, and throw. Once you're here, you're keeping a hold of this hand. You don't wanna let go. This is what you're gonna break, either with your knee going into the elbow, or punching, or stomping, or like, you know, you can go into the no. <laughs> Or you can ankle pain. <laughs> but yeah, John Wick. 
little bit better. It was marginally better. I really hope you guys like this video. Subscribe if you want to see more of this series. I've been doing a lot of this series recently and I'm going to continue them because it seems like you guys like them. Uh, and so if you do, let me know. And if you don't, also let me know. Comments can always help the channel. But until next time, my name's DJ Moore. This is The Modern Ninja and I'm out. We don't need to post bloopers. We don't have any bloopers. One take, one! If you like this video, check out this one about The Mandalorian or this other one YouTube thinks you'll like as well. Either way, I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm on that Bruce Lee, flow like water, state of mind. Got me going farther than I ever thought I could have been. Gotta grab a sheet of paper as you know I got the pin. Anybody want to smoke your whole career be looking grim. Out here flashing chains while your boy been in the gym. Watch me spitting flames while the frogs try to...